All right, guys, welcome to our IPL 2023, what should we call it, the retention video? Retention video. Yeah, so the IPL uh, retained auction whatever thing just finished. A lot of drama going down. I think, I'd, shall we just start with the elephant in the room? Hardik Pandya to Mumbai Indians. What do, you, what do you make of that? Is it confirmed? I think it is confirmed. If it's because confirmed. Firstly, originally they were traded and uh, Hardik Pandya was going to Mumbai Indians. And then this morning, it, news broke that uh, Gujarat have retained him. And now, all of a sudden, apparently, Hardik Pandya is back on two Mumbai Indians for a trade, uh, for a cash trade of 15 crores. I think that's just outrageous. Because first of all, he is their captain, Gujarat's captain. He's led them to a win. First season, Gujarat ever played IPL, they won. And then they came runners up. They could have, they should have won last year, but they came runners up you under his captaincy. Hardik Pandya is technically Mumbai's born and bred. He's Mumbai's born and bred, but he he was established his, he established his own legacy I in Gujarat, and he's captain. Like you can't just go around trading captains. Like this this is so political. Like there's no way, and I think it is like Ambani is a powerful man. Like I'm not going to speak too much about politics, but like no one would trade their captain. Who is first of all Hardik Pandya? It's like it's not to the extent that RCB would trade Kohli, but it's similar stature. It's like how you'd say, "Oh, Roy Sharma traded." Hardik Pandya is that captain for Gujarat. So, yeah. like the fact they're willing to trade him for fifteen crores. By the way, he's telling me that Cam Green's traded for seventeen point yeah. five. This leads me. Why, yeah. can't get, why can't RCB get Hardik Pandya for fifteen crores? This is insane. It's obviously because Hardik Pandya obviously has the history at Mumbai Indians. He's won titles at Mumbai Indians. He's been there for a long time with with his brother as well, let's remember. And he kind of grew up at Mumbai Indians. Yeah. But as you said, he, he, he should create his own legacy. I mean, is he going to be under captain of Roy Chama again or is he going to be his own captain of Mumbai Indians? Do you think this is him letting the Gujarat Titans board know that he wants to go back to Mumbai? Or it, I don't know what I it is. I don't know the politics behind it. There is politics behind it. <laughs> there I don't is, know the there politics. is politics behind it. But this leads me on to uh, the next section where... Obviously, they haven't just plucked this money out of nowhere. Maybe they have, actually. But uh, <laughs> Maybe they have. But um, officially, they haven't plucked this money out of somewhere, out of nowhere. So they've sold a Joffre Archer. And more importantly, they've traded Cam Green to Royal Challengers Bangalore for 17.5 crore. I'm, I know you're a RCB I'm fuming. fan. So I'm I wanna, fuming. I'm fuming. I want to get an RCB fan's perspective on I'm this. I'm so angry. Like... 17.5 is mad. 17.5 is crazy. I know we have money, but does it mean we just, you know, go all in for Cam... Cam Green's not someone... I would be happy to pay that much for, like, Rutch and Ravindra. I'd yeah. say. He would probably go for that much in the auction. I'm saying he would go for, like, minimum 12 crore. I think he will go for that much because he's shown his class. But Cam Green, he has also shown his class. Let's bear in mind, he was benched for most of the World Cup. He had a decent season for Mumbai, not with the ball, with the bat. I would say, in my head, he is worth about six to eight crore. I would not go past ten crore for Cam. But you have to understand, overseas, especially um, like English, Australian, all rounders, they do go for a lot of money. Like you've seen, remember Chris Morris went for a ridiculous amount of money. Pat Cummins goes for a ridiculous amount. Of money. Ben Stokes, these guys all go for ridiculous amounts of money. But they're very established players. That's what I think. They've played in the IPL multiple times and they've shown their class. Like Chris Morris, he's hit like an 82. Like he's shown he can, like he's a bowler, but he, he's shown that he can like really impact with the bat. So is uh, Pat Cummins, fastest, one of the fastest IPL 50s. And with the ball, he does well as well. Yeah. What has Cam Green really but, done? But you know, overseas players, they have, especially overseas all-rounders who are major parts for the nation, they have this tax where they can't go for less than 10 crores. I know. And some even go 15, 16, 17. I course. think Maxwell we bought for about 10.5 or something. Yeah. But that was in the auction, like bidding war. But like, yeah. But to, to so to fund this move for Cam, this alleged move for Cameron Green, you've got rid of Hasaranga, Josh Hazelwood and Harshal Patel. The Has main ones. You've got rid of some other players like Shabazz Ahmed. We'll get onto that later. He was traded. I think um, Hasaranga... I'm a firm believer. I really like Hasaranga as a cricketer. You were so gassed when he joined us. <clears throat> I really like Hasaranga. He's a gun bowler. He is a good batsman, but in the IPL, he hasn't shown it. I feel, as much as I love him, I wish that we never got him. I wish we kept Chahal because he is our boy. 
he's played well for us. In the Chinaswami, hard bowling conditions, he's done well, he's proven himself. How can we just let him go? And we got we got over first of all, he's an Indian spinner. He can't bat. Indian leg spinner. He's an Indian leg spinner. He can't bat. He's shown his class. He's always at the top of the wicket taking list. And we've given him to another team and we've paid 10 crores for Hasaranga, who takes up an overseas slot. We already have two certain overseas players with Faf Duplessis and Maxwell. They have to start every game. That means we need to have one bowler, which was Hazelwood last year, and we need to have another slot. That means we have to be, we, we're not flexible because we have to bowl Hasaranga. Do you know what I mean? No, Unless I, we don't have a that. solid spin option. If we had Chahal, we don't have to play Hasaranga. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I'm a bit upset with that. But Cam Green, <laughs> he's another it's six bowling, he's a six bowling option. I really hope I. He's a good my, batting option too. He's a good batting option. I really hope I eat my he did, words. He did get 100 uh, last IPL season. He got 100 and 250s. Yeah, he Average did have 50. a good He did have a good season he with the He did, bat. but I don't think he's worth 17.5. And I, I yeah. think he, you agree with me. I, no, I agree. So I just hope I eat my words. Because and we've been saying this whole World Cup that Ruchin Ravindra looks like he should go to... I really want Ruchin Ravindra. He's, he's born in... I think he was born in Bangalore. I don't think he was. He's, like, he's from Bangalore though, yeah. like culturally. So... And he's just a gun player. I love watching him bat. So yeah, it does seem like the stars are written for Ruchin, Ruchin to join RCB. Left hand option as well. And does this Cam Green uh, deal <laughs> maybe Could have hinder thrown that? Off. Yeah, I mean we'll we'll see. Um, but that's those are two two of the big ones um, we've heard of so far. Nothing else too big. I mean we'll go through each team who they've released, who they've retained. Um, I mean, there was a swap deal for Shabazz Ahmed. For Mayank Dagar. Dagar or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a left arm off spin, can bat, I think. A bit of a... Um, Strange one. Yeah, a bit of an N- NPC, <laughs> NPC, NPC trade. NPC trade. <laughs> I don't think Shabazz Ahmed is going to make it into India's uh, Sunrisers team. As a Sunrisers uh, fan, I don't see where he would play. And um, I, don't th- I don't think he's that good either, to be honest. I think he is decent. He has a knack of getting wickets. Yeah. He's a he's a handy left arm off spinner and he has performed at the bat. Again, not as consistently as an RCB fan would have liked, mm. but Mike Dago and Shabazz Ahmed are literally mirror players. They're literally both left arm off spinners who can yeah. offer a bit of batting. So it's a bit of a weird trade, but we'll see what yeah. happens. Well talking about SIH, we have released Harry Brook. Harry Brook. We've got, uh, we've got released, a ton, right? He got he got one hundred and and did nothing <laughs> did for nothing the rest else. of the tournament. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Harry Brook, especially in Indian conditions. For, as an English player in Indian conditions, I think he's very good. Mm-hmm. But last season, he was atrocious. Other than that one innings, he must have averaged like 10 for the tournament. Yeah. Um, which is sad because I was very excited when we bought him. But I think releasing him is actually a very good option. Because you have to understand... How much was he, do you know? Maybe 10, 12 crore, something like that. Okay. Which I don't think is too bad, considering he is an established international English player, and he d- he can do a lot of damage with the bat. I just don't think he is consistent enough. Mm-hmm. And also, we have Markram, Clarsen, and Glenn Phillips as well. Who a all, th- big, who all big three big of them? All three of them can play and should, in my opinion, all three of them should play. But if we play Harry Brook there too, then there's no place for like Bowling. Marco Janssen or someone along those lines and with Sunrise's pace attack yeah so uh, we've seen that Sunrise's Indian pace attack and spin attack is just not that great and mm. therefore we need someone like Janssen used we to had carry a- used to carry with Boovie in his prime and like Boovie in his prime Natarajan. Natarajan in his prime um, like That's even Oman, I mean there's Oman Malik Oman Malik is not part of that trio <laughs> I'm just praying he does well but uh, either way we've also released Adil Rashid Yep. Which is okay because we have okay. um, we have uh, Markande. Is that his name? Yeah, Markande, the leggy. He's good. He had a good season. The more Indians you can fit into your team without needing to use that overseas slot, the yeah. better. Because that is a precious slot, I feel. I uh, Me as a Sunrisers fan, I see Harry Book trade as... I think it's a good move. Let's say we can get 10, 12 crore, how much ever he is. We can go and buy a good Indian or even overseas pace bowler. For example, Jofra Archer was released. If he can stay fit, I would take Jofra Archer. I would take Jofra Archer. But or, but maybe even an Indian pace bowler, I, I would take like anyone really. Shami. Um, Speak of Indian pace bowlers, you've also released Kartik Tiagi. Yeah, I'm not a fan of him anyway. I think 
the year before last, before he came to Sunrises, he played for Rajasthan, I think. Yeah. I think he did quite well he did, for I Rajasthan. Think he, I think there's talks of him having the highest contract for an uncapped Indian player. Yeah, he was quite good for, for Rajasthan, but I did not see him at all last year. I think the one game he did, one of, I don't know, did he play a game? He did play a game, but he didn't do well. So, yeah. I don't know. Kartik Tiagi, but I think that is someone I don't mind going for in the auction as an RCB fan. Do you know what I mean? It's not a bad option, but I think we need we need like obviously Boovie's obviously in his prime, one of the best IPL bowlers. But right now, for especially last season, he's been good, but we don't have that one spearhead spearhead to our attack. Yeah. So that's why I would love to spend that Harry Brook money on a good Indian pace bowler. I agree. Obviously, Bumrah's is going to be locked up. Shami's probably not going to be allowed <laughs> to leave. I don't want Siraj anyway. So I don't see I don't I don't see that many other options. So that's why I, w- I would look at overseas players like no, Archer. He, he said so he doesn't want Siraj. Watch him get the most wickets this season. I'm telling you now. Bro, he's gonna get the purple cap now. <laughs> he's gonna get the purple cap. This <laughs> guy is the it. biggest jinx I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I think if we move on to, um, we can go through the teams and you could get Tarko. The Lord. You could get the Lord with that. I would, I would take the Lord. I would take the Lord if the Lord comes to RCB. We're winning. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so we've gone through RCB. They've released Hasaranga, Harshal Patel, Hayeswood. I put Finn Allen in there because I know you like him. I like released, Finn Allen. They've released him too. Finn Allen, like, because he's an RCB player, I just look at RCB players and how they perform in other competitions, like, say, T10 or, like, Big Bash. Finn Allen has actually performed well. He's actually yeah. a gun batsman. And he toured England with New Zealand and he actually demolished their opening bowling attack. So I think... Someone will buy him in the auction because he yeah. is gun. But as I said, because of Hasaranga being in the team, we didn't have enough overseas slots to fit him in. And Faf has to start. He's captain. He's so good. So Finn Allen doesn't get a place in the team, unfortunately. Also, just to put this in, it's confirmed Dhoni's going to be playing this is last IPL season. Is it his last? I think Has so. he confirmed that? He's definitely playing, but I think it might be his Every last. Every year we think it's his last, man. He just keeps coming. To be fair, he won last year, so... Yeah. Um, so then we've gone through Sunrises, Harry Brook, Akil Hussain, Rashid Khan, uh, Adil Rashid, sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's talk about Rajasthan. Rajasthan? Yeah. So Root they've, is out. But Root is gone. He's but opted out though. Same with Stokes. They've both opted out. Stokes is not in the auction? No, because they're managing, they're trying to manage their workload. I, think, I feel like they've got a big, a, bi- a busy summer coming ahead. You see, I, I can't lie. That's quite big from those two players. That just shows how how dedicated they are to their yeah, international country, yeah. careers. Because like they're giving up a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> there was that time Stokes opted out of the IPL so he could play County Championship before the Ashes. That was all. so. Th- that's good. Yeah, from fair them. play for them. Not that Root was getting much game time in the IPL anyway. Yeah. They've also released Jason Holder. He who I rate very highly. Yeah, but do you remember in the World Cup qualifying? He got smoked by Netherlands. A super over. No, was it super wasn't over? It? it wasn't a super over Netherlands. Yeah. I think Van der Merwe, he hit him for 30 runs in a super over. It was brutal, 30 brutal. runs in a super over. And I mean, I think that ultimately led them to like not qualify. So yeah. Holder, Holder, Holder's going to be angry. He's going to want to prove himself. So whoever gets him this auction, beware. Wasn't he at LSG? And then he moved to... He's been around, hasn't yeah. he? <laughs> I loved him at Sunrises. He was a very good player. Yeah. They also got rid of Obed McCoy. I, that, He's a bit of an NPC player. It's not really important. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we can talk about LSG maybe. Not much going on with LSG. They got rid of Onadka and uh, Daniel Sams. Daniel Sams, you remember? Yeah, both but, um, two NPC. They I re- think Onadka is actually a decent bowler to have in your squad. Maybe not in your playing 11, but if he is fit and if he's like bowling well, I would say he's a good addition to your 11. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? CSK had a bit of a clear out. Stokes is opted out. Raidu is gone. I think that could be his career done. <laughs> uh, Raidu, yeah. Jameson. Jameson is such a liability. Taurus and um, uh, Magala. Magala. Oh, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So not much. Mm, not he's South not, African, right? Yeah, nothing too interesting there. Yeah, yeah. You know what is interesting? Um, KKR. Oh, they've had, had a clean out. They've just cleared the whole team. The whole pace attack is gone. So they've got rid of um, Sha- Shakib as well. Shakib as well. Do you think anyone will go for him? Or they have to. I think he's definitely. You know he's running for the Bangladesh uh, par- Parliament uh, uh, parliamentary elections. Shakib. Just a side note. Shakib. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so this? they got rid of sh- uh, sh- uh, the Lord Shadul Takur. 
Shakib, Lucky. Lucky Ferguson, Umesh Yadav, and Tim Saudi. They're all gone. Their paces. Who, who are their paces? Like, they, they got rid of the whole pace attack. They've retained uh, Narine and Russell. Yeah, they've been there since yeah. I was born, probably. <laughs> Um, so it'll be interesting to see who they bring in. I tell you what, I'll take Takur, and I'll take out of that lineup. I'll take. I'd probably take Shakib. I can't lie. I think I might take Shakib too. I don't He's know played if... for your team, but he didn't do well for Sunrise. He did okay. He didn't do amazing. And I'll take Lockie. Yeah. Lockie Ferguson is a good pace attack pace bowler. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, who Jimmy Deeson he has, has so many people hyping him up when he joined Chennai he did not really do anything Mandeep Singh he's just been everywhere hasn't he he's been to um, RCB Punjab he's never really like settled in the squad Yeah. so not many Litton Das Bangladeshis for you Bangladeshi fans yeah he's gone too <laughs> who, okay so moving on I mean Punjab I think only Shah Rukh Khan they got rid of Really? In terms of um, like notable, Big, not- notable I'll, I'll take Shah Rukh Khan. He's a decent finisher, you know? I, I Do, don't, don't you think he's a decent finisher? I don't think I'll take him. He's won a few games for them, I can't um, lie. Mumbai Indians. So we already mentioned they got rid of Archer. They got rid of Cam Green. They got rid of Chris Jordan. I didn't even know they had them. Um, they got rid of Fake Janssen. <laughs> and they Janssen. got rid of... Um, <laughs> I remember seeing... <laughs> I remember seeing this Janssen guy in a Mumbai Indian shirt and I was like, why does he look so familiar? And it says Janssen and I was like, what? Yeah. I remember talking to you about that. That's so crazy. Like, they got rid of uh, Richardson too. Jai Richardson. Jai. He, I swear uh, they spent a lot of money for him. Didn't they? Why is their purse so small then if they've released all these like expensive I players? Know. I don't think it's confirmed about the green one. I but, hope not. Um, and then I guess we've got De- uh, Delhi Capitals, Manish Pandey, Phil Salt, Mustafizo. Uh, Riley Russo and Priam Garg. Priam Garg. Priam Garg. He used to play for you, didn't he? Yeah. Sunrises. He was like the captain of the under 19s. Yeah. He had a lot of promise, but I can't lie. He didn't really show show it in the IPL. Yeah. Um, he'll be missed. Gujarat Titans. Gujarat is what I want to talk about. They got rid of Yash Dial. Poor guy, man. Riku Singh ended Riku his career. Singh ended his career. I hope someone gets him because I think he is generally a decent bowler apart from that over that Rinku just twatted him. Yeah. Um, Oh, shit. Was Odin Smith. Um, Odin Smith. I hate Odin Smith. Do you remember against uh, RCB? RCB he that just, was so funny. The only game he, but I swear, there's certain players that only perform against RCB, and I hate them with a passion. Let's talk about KS Bullet. I think he's a decent player. You don't. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't rate him too highly. I think he's quality, and he is a. I think I'll take him RCB. He was in RCB before. Yeah. And we'll see. Shiva Marvi, another young pacer. He had a lot of promise in KKR, but he hasn't really played. And I don't know. Shanaka, Sri Lankan. Mm. I wouldn't take him. Um, All right. So that is our video for what the like the retained auction for the IPL uh, 24 yeah. season. Um, we'll let us know week. if you agree with us. Any changes? If we missed out anything, make sure to let us know in the comments. Um, but yeah, this IPL season is back. We will well, be doing coming. we will be doing an auction video. We will be listing who we think are gonna be the top lookouts to buy at the auction, who we think probably are gonna be the flops of the auction. Already know a few. I'm sure you do as well. Yeah. Um and uh we might even do a live stream for the actual au- yeah. auction. So. Just give us any ideas. Uh IPL we both love the IPL. I'm sure you guys all love the IPL too. Let us know if you have any specific videos you wanna see from us. We'll be more than happy to um listen to any suggestions. Obviously, we'll cover the auction. We'll cover probably the matches as well when they happen. Yep. Um, I know. Long time for that to happen. Yeah. And yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, catch you in the next one. See ya.